happens to be called Sustainability Week. Every day of the week we have something different planned for the students. In Santa Monica, there's a lot of people who don't want to admit that they have food insecurity because of insecurity itself, you know? So the whole purpose of this is to have a free farmer's market so students can just come in, get healthy options of food. This is a wonderful way to get reintroduced to just healthy food, just the way that it should be. While people are passing through and grabbing stuff, they'll ask me like, oh, what is this? Like, what can I do with it? How can I cook it? I know students don't always have access to organic food or don't have the means in which to pay for organic food. I know if like, if, if a burger costs you $2 and an apple costs you $2, you're not gonna buy the apple, usually. These are some tech products to make the vegetables bigger. And so, I'm looking at the grapes here and I'm thinking of the grapes you buy and it's rather probably buy Today we're doing our um, sustainable resource fair in which we invite a group of nonprofits um, that are all environmentally based, all located around different areas of LA, um, just to offer students internship opportunities. I think it's really important for students to come out and learn about these organizations just to see um, what's out there when it comes to the environmental field and what's being done to fight um, global issues that we're facing, such as climate change. We've got the Beagle Freedom Project, which basically is, um, I, I believe they're saving dogs from from being tested on. We've got a DJ here who's all solar paneled, so no plug-in, all the energy from the sun. I feel that a sustainability week is really important in educating our SMC students about how to make our campus more green. So in Venice, California, we built 80 garden food boxes on the streets of Venice. So again, bringing community together from all walks of life to learn about food, leadership, teamwork, sustainability. You can be involved even if it's just like volunteering a couple days. Uh, so we try to raise plastic or raise awareness for the plastics but also everything else like our carbon emissions. A lot of people who ride bikes and it will reduce your carbon by so much. Also what we eat like a lot of people eat meat daily and a lot of us are vegan but we don't try to push that on anyone. Just being more conscious about your food consumption um, and also waste. Compost. I knew that the SGI, because I've been a member for a long 47 years, long time, that they promoted sustainability and that they had these exhibits. In teaching my classes, I think many people feel hopeless. And this is one of the few environmental exhibits that's very hopeful. Within our organization, probably the greatest action that we take is um, improving our own life. I love SMC. It, it's, uh, there's no other school, even a four-year school, that has a sustainability department like it. Plastic water bottles, we're done, we've had enough. that we really wanted to get students involved. It's kind of a club crossover day where other clubs that are involved and part of ICC have an opportunity to speak on how their club is intertwined with sustainability. What green chemistry it is, it's not so much in the study of like the, the greenhouse, like the greenhouse gases that the chemicals actually cause it. It's more of like reducing those in our labs as experiments. There's no point in educating the youth of today if there's not going to be a tomorrow. So to have these brilliant minds come through here, we want to preserve the future. So Santa Monica College has been super supportive and we are so appreciative of that and we just want to make it better and better. Come by, get some information and at the Seuss, for sure.